Good afternoon, dear developers. Today, I will show you how to set up Mopub Facebook bidding. This feature will allow you to maximize your revenue because, in this monetization model, two bidding participants compete for an advertising display. If one of them does not have a fill rate, then the other participants will most likely have it, and you will not lose your profit in such a case. So, let's begin. First of all, you need to register with Mopub. After successful registration and approval for the Mopub Marketplace, we need to add the app to Mopub. In the Apps section, click on New App. We have two options for adding an app. If Google Play has already published your mobile application, you can paste a link to it in this field. Select the second option and fill in all required fields if it has not yet been published. Our app is already on Google Play, so we'll paste a link to it. Make sure to link to the privacy policy in your app description on Google Play. This is important for Mopub moderation. The next step is to configure appads.txt. Follow the instructions provided to set up ads.txt. In the description of this video, there will be a link to a video in which we will tell you how to set up app ads.txt using the example of AdMob. For MoPub, the procedure is the same. In our example, you can see that we have inserted all three app ads.txt codes in our root file. AdMob, Facebook, and MoPub. Moving on. After successfully adding the app to Mopub, we need to create ad units. Choose a banner and give it a name. Click Save. Copy the ad unit ID and paste it into your document. So we have added banner placement in our app. If you need the placement add ID again, you can find it here. Now let's create an interstitial ad unit. Here it is called full screen. Click Save. Get the code for our ad unit, copy it, and save it in our document. After that, we can add our ad codes to the monetization settings of our application in Andromo. Be sure to remember to enable Mopub Facebook bidding. After that, you need to enable Mopub on a per-component level. Then save your app. After you complete the bidding settings, you will need to rebuild the app and update it on Google Play. We need to go to business.facebook.com and enable the Mopub Facebook bidding setting for our app. Next, go to Settings. Click More Business Settings. Here we need to select Monetization Manager. After that, you need to create new property if you haven't added your app to Facebook yet. After the app's name, click Create Property and complete the procedure for adding the app. We have already added this app, so we will not add it again. Click on it. Click on Bidding Setup. 
choose mediation platform Mopub. Select app. Copy and save. Banner ID, interstitial ID. We also generate the token. Click Done. So we are done with the Facebook level bidding settings. Now let's complete the bidding setup at the Mopop level. Click on our ad unit banner. Click Advanced Bidding. Enable Advanced Bidding. Starting priority has to be 1. Activate Facebook and insert the banner placement ID. Click Save. You can see that in Overview, Advanced Bidding takes precedence over Marketplace. Now let's activate bidding for interstitial ads. Again, enable Advanced Bidding. Insert Facebook Interstitial Placement ID. You can also see that Advanced Bidding takes precedence over Marketplace for interstitial ads. We are done with the bidding settings. Make sure the settings are done in the Builder. You need to build the app and update it on Google Play. Only then can you download it and test the bidding. Do not try to bypass the Play Market because Facebook will not display ads in an app not downloaded from the market. Thanks for your attention and good luck.